What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to play Nyx like a pro and I'm also going to be opening an Emerald Crate. So let's go ahead and go to the store here. Free 600 gems, always nice. Alright. So it is double character tokens and I think it's still chance of a um, unique item, so. Yeah. Edna, okay. Take it. Alright, I'll upgrade her later. Pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. So upgrades. Obviously if you have the coins at your disposal, just get them as far as you can. If you don't have that many coins, I would recommend obviously going for the middle ones, obviously yes. But if you ever go for side ones, I would have to recommend if, if, if you don't have that many coins or you're free to play, you know, some of this video is it's mainly going to be on free to play tips for the this part at least. But anyways, but yeah, if you don't have that many coins, I would recommend going for like the the side ones. If you're going to go for the side ones though, go for the damage instead of the points because you know that extra 15% damage is going to be very good. Um, like here, there's the bomb and the shotgun and um there's the bow and the shotgun there and also like even on um, this one, and also just another recommendation if you do buy the side ones um that you, like like this one i bought the speed on land it was like 150,000 coins but i just waited to upgrade many and there was like 108,000, which i know is still a bunch but it's it's you know i do plan to get a max level one day so i can get that amount but it's way it's way easier just to buy it on upgrade mania than you know you're upgrading them in one day and you're like you know, and you're like, hey, well, I can get them that max level now, but I don't really want to spend that much coins. But, you know, anyways, yeah, if, like I said, if you don't have that much coins or you're free to play, just go for the middle ones and then side ones recommend going for the damage. So for items, vamp teeth is a must. Jungle shoes is highly recommended. I would recommend inflatable muscles, minor level six on him, which is pretty good. Um, so I'm actually, I got self-defib on him today, and I just want to try it out. Yeah, obviously, if you don't have self-defib, I'll recommend this build. This build is very good, and if you don't have muscles, I would probably recommend probably Holy Sandals, or you could run Happy Treats, whichever one you have, you know. But, um, you know. And obviously, if you have less items, you know, Cholesterol Bomb is always fine, you know. Obviously, if you're playing team modes, I always recommend defibr defibrillator, and I'll probably swap that out for that if, if I was playing teams right now, which I don't really play teams with Nyx. <clears throat> I'd recommend it for really solos, trios max, solos, duos, trios, because squad, he's really not that viable, you know. His health just, I mean, it's good, but also, you, do, you know. You know he doesn't, he can't, he, you know, he can't heal you, and he's not a tank, but, I mean, he's always, you know, if you have two Lizzie's in a squad, and then, like, uh, I don't know, like, a, or you have one Lizzie, and then, like, a Duke, and a Buck, and then you have, like, a Pepper, or a Milo's your sniper, and then, you know, you could have kind of a versatile character like Nyx, or you could have, you know, um, you, you could have a Fuzzy, I mean, that's really more of a sniper, but also you could, you could have a Max, or... Um, someone a little faster, you know, you could have Steve, a Finn, uh, maybe an Elaine, something like that. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna play a total of two games. To start this first one off, and yeah, so no drilling and solo full is definitely gonna be a little challenging, but nothing wrong with a little challenge, right? Gotta have fun. By the way, I did upgrade him to level 17 today, so. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> You know, so hopefully, you know, it should be a little easier to win. So I see a Larry up there. Um, early game, if you have muscles at least, gotta try to just hunt down the guards, really. Oh, he stole my kill there. But also go for lower levels than you, because if you need those muscles back, you know. So I see a level 15 right there. A level 15 right here. I see a bunch of level 15. So, these should be easy kills, okay? I don't know why I didn't give me that muscles, but okay. So, level 13, definitely go for him. Just 
free muscle stacks. So I see the buck doesn't have coffee, which isn't that smart. If you're gonna play buck and solos, which I don't recommend, at least put coffee on him. So, so yeah, early game, just try to get the guard kills if you have muscles. And if you um, don't, always recommend starting Igloo with him. Um, museum, kind of an isolated place where it's not like jungle area because you know, if a duke pops out of nowhere or something and you know, can kind of just destroy him, so. Or a buck or any character like that, you don't really want that. So the next just is gonna pop out of nowhere, okay. I'm just gonna take that. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured he would do that. But. Boom, get the muscle stack. Okay, I thought he was gonna dash in there. Let's try to pheromone me. So this mix isn't terrible, but we do have the muscles, but he has pheromone essence and we don't. But I do have self defib, so. And honestly, I'd rather have, the, even though he has one level higher, now I have that damage advantage because I'm basically a level 18. I just don't have the health. Now he might have the fifth item slot. I don't think he does, but I haven't seen all of it. You know, he might have Juno shot. I'm not really sure. So, I know he's down one med kit, I'm not sure if he has another one. Alright, so I'm just gonna try to pick up this muscle pack from the speed. Ooh, that was close. Uh, I don't have a genome shot, so I'm just gonna use that. Normally, if I was running a genome shot, don't just use the med kit like that. Because if you have one, you kind of want to save it, you know? I need to get one of these kills. I might be dead here, guys. I have self self defib, so not like officially dead, but you know, kind of, kind of dead. All right, so I need that mech hit very badly. Okay. All right, so defeating this next is definitely, definitely possible. It's not super likely, but there's one other dude. So if I can do some damage to him, man. All right, so we got the second mech hit. Oh, what, is this, what is this dude doing? Is he just giving me the one? Okay, thank you very much. Well, five kills, not too shabby. Alright, let's do that. 100 gems, 600. Gold crates, nice. Okay, max. Yeah, earlier, by the way, guys, um, hold on. Uh, whatever. So I got a um, what's it called? A, um, gold toolbox from like playing and stuff. And I opened it and I got pheromone essence on Duke. And first when I saw the pheromone, I was like, oh my gosh, let's go. And then I realized I was Duke, and I was like, so I just rerolled because I was hoping that maybe the pheromone essence would stay and I would just go to a different character. But it, but I don't care that much because it's literally useless on Duke. It's pointless. I don't know why they're spamming me so much. But yeah, so I'm a Nick, so I'm just gonna kind of start in a clustered area, mainly because I'm a low 17, so I can compete with all these other levels. You know, if you're a lower level, level, sorry, I recommend starting, like I said, Igloo Museum. Um, obviously, if you're a higher level and not super high trophies, like, like you know, I'm only like 1300 or something. That's not that high. Uh, I need the muscle stack. Okay, I'm just gonna get the shock in here. Okay, I have no. Alright, so this Nyx really wants to fight me. Don't really know why, because I'm definitely better than him. Just gonna smash that med kit. That's what Nyxes do, right? No, but like, if you ever have the opportunity, like, that Finn wasn't going for the med kit. If he would have been going for that, I wouldn't have contested him. But if you know someone might not contest instantly, as a Nyx, you can really just contest anything. Especially legendary weapons and med kits, you know, especially the, the, ooh, ooh, he has the legendary shotgun. Oh, I need to kill this. Oh, I forgot. I don't have a drone shot. He's laughing at me. Yeah, and then, and he's about to die. I'll miss that. Oh, oh he's going after him, mainly. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna do that, and then just... So my boat definitely hit there. 
but it did not give me that. Alright, place that. So a high level Earl. So I don't know if he has a red kit, and he does, and we're gonna be dead. Okay, no, thank you for distracting him, Nick. W Nix. Oh, we oh, ran out. Mm. Alright, I love you, Nick. Thanks for distracting me from the Earl. But I'm going to have to kill you. Oh, he's one shot, basically. Okay. Alright, just go for the three shot. Okay, no, he dodges. Alright, so I'm assuming he doesn't have any med kits or else he'll be playing way more um, passive. I mean, more aggressive, sorry. So we are going to let her get that, but we're going to do a bunch of damage in the process. Potentially killing her. Yes. Alright. So we only have three muscle stacks. Not good. And I already used myself defib, so. And I think I do kind of like it over adrenaline. Obviously, if if you're playing against GM5s and only level 19s, I would definitely recommend adrenaline. But um, oh, he's gonna be chasing me because I have the legendary. But um, I was kind of stuck there. Oh, oh, he's dead. Why would you white flag? I had no clue you were there, man. Right, so we picked up another muscle stack there. I'm gonna use a med kit. Because we do not have adrenaline. Alright, knocked one off her. Gonna snipe, barricade. Alright, so you kinda just have to think about who should I fight and who what fight could I win to get a med kit from. So I'm assuming he doesn't have any med kits. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, it's not that bad. I do not want that friend to go after me. Alright, alright, so Lily has no med kit. Then, okay. I did knock one off him. Only one level lower than him, so definitely winnable. I don't know why he scared me. Thanks, Finn. Well, getting some nice people in these games, huh? Alright, well. That wraps up the video. But yeah, like I was saying, early game, recommend, you know, landing igloo, museum, cave, something like that. Middle game, just, you know, if you don't have any med kits, definitely play passive. Um, if you have one or two, you can kind of just look around for people, depending on your level and your trophies, because if you're GM5 and you're, you know, only level 17, you should definitely be more passive. But like me, you know, I'm not that high trophy with them. 1350 is not too bad for a level 17. So, yeah. Um, and then late game, you know, I have self-defib, which if you use it mid-game, it, it renders useless. So just be careful with the med kits, you know, because pheromone essence now just takes you out like that. So just be careful. But honestly, I'll recommend for you guys a drone shot over self-defib. But it's ultimately your choice. Whatever you feel more confident in. You know, if you feel confident in pressing that medkit run right on, go ahead and play that. But, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, you know. If you have a request for a certain video, you know, if you want me to do an account tour or you have a suggestion for who you want me to do in my next how to play like a pro video or you just ask me, you know, hey, I'm a free to play player. How do I get coins in Zuba? You know, what's the best way to get coins or what's the best get, be, way to get characters, sorry. Or, you know, something like that, you know, just request in the comments. But, you know, I hope you learned something and see you in the next one.